Hey YouTube, uh, this is DSR Richter with Richter Scale Studios. This is my competition submission for, uh, that was a good one, uh, Templar Crusades 1's 4,000 subscriber contest. He wanted a pre-heresy Imperial Fist to look like him. And uh, this is my model I just finished. Uh, he is Forge World, um, pre-heresy, I believe Mark III armor. Uh, it's a chrome like helmet and a bit box head also the base is custom made it is um, some tough stone I cast it different little layers broke it up with a Vulcan hammer glued it on a little bit of sand we got a uh, some tufts of grass and a secret weapon miniatures uh, skull the miniature is um, magnetized onto the base so it can be changed out to uh, match another army or uh, put on another base of anything you want and uh, I have to hand it to you guys to paint yellow. That is a hard color to do. And I learned a lot doing this, so it was fun. Um, he is battle damaged. Uh, this little chips of paint everywhere. Um, some washes and some um, pigments. I uh, use some pigments to like, pick up the base colors and put it on the base and put it on the boots. And uh, what else we got going on? Also, he is magnetized in many different places. Besides the base, arms are magnetized. The gun arms are magnetized in two places. So I can move the gun around. Backpack's magnetized, you want to take it off, switch it out. And also one of the cool things is uh, hand is magnetized to hold the helmet. So the head is changeable. And Captain Brian is ready for battle, full battle gear. And it is, uh, you can move him around a little bit, throw that gun in his hand, and he's ready for action. And also you can move him around the base, it kind of gives him more like even, a, depends on where you put him, it looks like he's really speeding across the battlefield. Here's a good one, he's kind of getting to be walking and kind of trotting. And uh, I love the problem helmet. Turned out really good. Um, you can see the weathering on the feet kind of matches and there's like some green grays on the ground. That's why I'm not, I'm not sure what uh, Brian uses on his bases, so it'd be really easy to switch out. And another thing that I like to share with everyone is one Captain. Right. I had a hard time painting faces and eyes, and I just got my eyes tested. He found out I have astigmatism at 43, and oh my god, it's such a big difference. Uh, what do you think painting miniatures would uh, improve my eyesight? Or not improve it, but notice I had bad eyesight. And I'm going to have a couple photos of this afterwards, so I know the video doesn't do justice a lot of times for the detail and all that, especially when I show the eyes off and the face. And uh, that is it. I really appreciate you guys checking out my work, and I really appreciate Templar Crusade putting on these contests. It's fun and gets you motivated to pursue your hobby a little bit more, and gives you like a little goal to do once in a while. And um, uh, I like to thank them again, and uh, please subscribe, and I'll have the photos after this, and see you soon. Thanks.